Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay. So this question belongs to GATE CSC 2017 set 1 guys. The given question is consider the set of processes with arrival time, CPU burst time and priority given where 0 is the highest priority. Okay. Okay. Shown below. Okay. So none... No, none of the processes have IO burst. Okay. So the average waiting time. Okay. So they are asking about the average waiting time and the algorithm which they want us to use is a preemptive scheduling algorithm. Right. Yes. So let us start. It's a quite easy question only. Okay. Yes. So let us start. Okay. So let us start guys. So at 0 at the millisecond. How many people or how many processes are inside guys? So only one process is inside that is a P1. So hence if there is only a single process what you will check guys? So now P1 will start its execution and after 0 at 2 only the next process came. So up to 2 this guy will execute smoothly right? Yes. So now the time here is a 9. Okay. So at 2 P4 came. So the priority of a P4 is a 1. So here we are working with priority. So because his priority is high. So now P4 will get a chance for execution up to 5 millisecond. Okay. So once we hit 5 millisecond. So how many milliseconds are in between guys? So 3 milliseconds. So now the left out value is 7 milliseconds. Right. Yes. So once we hit 5. So now there are a total of 1, 2 and 3. 3 different processes inside. So indirectly this is going to have 28 milliseconds and this is the most highest one right. So whoever might come after this will it stop guys? No because he is having the highest priority. He is the most important V V V I P right. Yes. So that is the reason why P2 will get a chance from 28 plus 5 up to 33. So up to 33 this P2 will completely execute guys. So now this highest priority 0 is done. So after 0 what is the next highest it is 1. So now this 7 milliseconds will be given next. So after that P4 will get a chance for the next 7 milliseconds. So now the time is 40. Okay. So the next highest is a 2 priority. So that is a P1 with that 9 value. So now the value will be 49. Okay. So this is also done. So now next highest priority is a 3. So for P3 and the time is only 2 milliseconds. So it is a 51 now. Okay. So once this is also done at the end we are having a P5 which is a nothing but a 51 plus a 16. That is a nothing but a 67. So at the end of a 67 all processes has completed. So 11 plus a 28 plus a 2 plus a 10 plus a 16. So the value is 67. It is exactly matching. Okay. So there could not be any silly mistakes. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So let us just continue the table. So the next value which we want to find is a completion time. So P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. So if P5 completed at 67, P3 completed at 51, P1 completed at 49, P4 completed at 40, P2 completed at 33. Okay. So the next thing is a turn around time. So turn around time is a nothing but completion time minus arrival time right yes so 49 minus 0 is a 49 okay so 33 minus 5 is a 28 okay 51 well, 51 minus 12 is a 39 okay 40 minus 2 is a 38 67 minus 9 is a 58 right yes so the next value is a waiting time so waiting time is a nothing but a turn around time minus burst time, right? Yes. So that is a nothing but 49 minus 11. That is a 38. Okay. So 28 minus 28 is 0. 39 minus 2 is a 37. 38 minus 10 is a 28. 58 minus 16 is a 42. Okay, so in the question they are asking average wait time, right? Yes, so average wait time is nothing but 38, okay, plus 0 plus 37 plus 28 plus 42 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Sorry, 5. So the final answer is a 29. So just to give me a second, I will cross checking it. Yes, so 29 is the correct answer. Got it? 
yes so it's a quite easy and a direct question right the only thing is it is taking some time and the calculations are a bit confusing right because we might do many silly mistakes here right yes so that is the reason why while solving these questions so please concentrate and solve them guys okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you